All right, what's going on everybody? This video I'm showing um, how to do shading. And I think what I'll do is I'll use, I guess, planets as a way of showing highlights and so forth. So I'm start with a black background. I'm gonna use a airbrush with a hard edge, I guess you could say. And start with a light yellow and do a circle. I'll do the circle, connect the lines, and drop in the yellow color from the palette. And the next color I will do, I will use blue. And do the same thing. Uh, in Procreate, you can do a circle. I need if it's not perfect, once the lines connect, it'll correct it. And then just drop from the color wheel or color palette and fill it. So I have two planets here and I don't know what color planets are. I'm just gonna pick a color. And I'll do, I guess, kind of a purplish pink, I guess. But what I really wanna show in this video is casting light. Uh, that's the, what I kinda wanna show. And so now I have the three planets. The problem is now that I have to show the light bouncing or re reflecting onto the other planets from the one in the center. So what I will do is I will pick that color, pick it up from there. You can basically do that by holding your finger and it'll cover that color. And I'm going to create a layer on top of the layer that I'm drawing on. And I think I, I picked the clipping mask, I believe. And so that's going to color only within the color from the next, from the layer underneath and won't go outside of the edges. So I'm gonna get a soft airbrush and then just kind of fan over the outer edges on the blue and also on the uh, the purple planet. So it kind of gives an illusion of light casting onto those planets from the center uh, center planet. But with doing that, you have to now add. Uh, shading in the darker areas where the sun is not hitting or not I don't know if it's the sun I don't know what planet it is and so in the purple planet I'm going in with a darker blue just to kind of give some contrast because a lot of times where there's an extreme light there's also an extreme dark and so that's what I'm doing there and also with the blue planet, I'm gonna go in with a darker blue just to kind of give that some contrast. But you notice at the bottom part, I leave a little bit of tint of blue, just kind of a underlying highlight. There we go. And so now you have a better idea of uh, the shading and the contrast and highlights. And so I figured I'd put a little bit of green under that blue planet. I just got the same effect I thought it would look good. Just to add a little um, variety. And so that adds a little bit of I guess oomph to it, I guess. And so the, with the purplish planet, uh, I decided to go in a little darker. Uh, with that, um, as well. And these concepts can be used in any digital 
art program or even if you're doing it on you know traditional you know paper you know same same principles apply so with the planet in the middle I didn't know if I was going to make it be a sun or, or what but I, I thought that well maybe I need to darken it some I don't know and so I went out a little darker with that one and highlighted uh, some of the edge and um, kind of going in and just kind of fill that out some next thing I wanted to do was um, kind of give it some luminosity so I add another layer and I went into the uh, color dodge and what that does is whatever color is underneath that it intensifies it so I grab the brush and uh, grab the highlight color the kind of bright orange and as you can see I kind of hitting a little bit, bit of it under that the purple planet and I grab the green and hit that and so you see a little light intensity under that where it's kind of glowing and so with those highlights being as bright as they are now I decided to go in darker with the middle planet and um, added some <clears throat> added some craters into it I guess to make it look more like a planet which is now odd because it's like well, so where's the light coming from I guess it's still coming from that planet I guess I don't know but I thought eh we go with it and so really that's kind of that's kind of it uh Thanks for remember is you if you um want to have highlights you gotta have if there's a highlight you gotta have extreme like I said extreme light then there's extreme dark and uh yeah that's it I'm new to digital drawing and so I'm just kind of learning on the fly because I kind of mess around with it I just apply the same principles as if I was drawing uh, traditionally to digital and so I grabbed the uh, blur tool and just kind of blurred it a little bit just to kind of soften the lines up and that's about it I just put a little signature on here and roll with it but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did uh, just like and subscribe I'm gonna try and get into doing more videos with uh, procreate and so again my name is Kevin Bentley nice to meet you all and uh, y'all have a good day